Hello, I am Diego Rodriguez Nava and in this video I will talk about intelligent design, explain why I became interested in this topic to later address a theoretical constraint using time and permutations. Intelligent design ID addresses the complexities found in nature, stating that we were designed and made. Instead of being the result of a slow process following the mechanisms of evolution, such as random mutations and natural selection. Why I became interested in this topic? As a mechanical engineer, I became interested in the field of nanomachines. I realized that the most interesting functional machines were found in nature made of proteins. I had the opportunity to work on a biology project and it was required to take a class on molecular biology where a book on evolution was required. After reading chapter 4 on the origin of life and further reading on the subject, I was not happy with the lack of mathematical equations explaining the evolution processes. I learned that in biology some guidelines has been established without a satisfactory sound explanation from the field of mathematics or physics. Not to mention some publications that resulted on a hoax such as the pill dome man hoax. Theoretical constraints in the past, or during Charles Darwin time, the universe was considered infinite, without beginning nor end, meaning that anything can happen since there is no time constraint for allowing any process to occur. Around 1930, scientists started to notice that the universe is expanding and it could be traced to one originating point. And the Big Bang Theory was born. It is estimated that the age of the universe is 13.7 billion years. It is estimated that the Earth is 4.54 billion years old. A protein is a chain of amino acids and proteins are essential part of living organisms. Proteins are composed of a variety of amino acids and these are chosen from a pool of 20 amino acids. If a protein is composed of 300 amino acids, then using permutations, we can say that the 300 amino acids can be combined in many different ways. The number of amino acids that can be selected, 20, raised to the number of amino acids in the protein sequence, which represents the total number of possible combinations of this. So, we select 20 amino acids from this list they are represented here and then 
we build the chain, which is represented here. And in this case, the length of this chain is composed of 300 amino acids. Let's further explain with permutations using a simple protein composed of two amino acids and later uh, a protein composed of three amino acids. So for, for one protein composed of two amino acids, let's say that we only have two amino acids to choose from. So we have the histidine here in red and the isoleucine in green. So then if we do the math, then we say that the, uh, the permutation is equal to uh, the, the length of the protein. In this case, will be 2 raised to the number of options that we have to choose from the, the amino acids. Let's say in this case, we only using these two. So it's a, it's a smaller pool of options from amino acids. So we have 2 to the 2, and this equal to 4. So meaning that we can have these four options. We, we can have red selected first, then red, then we can have red and green, then red, uh, green and red. So, and green and green. So those are the four options for this chain of only two amino acids. Now let's do uh, an example with three amino acids, a protein form of a pool of three amino acids and three uh, amino acids to choose from and a length of three. So now we have uh, uh, the leucine, the isoleucine and the histidine. So this is what we have. We we have. Let's calculate the probabilities first for the uh, the permutation. Sorry. So we have the the length of the uh, protein is three three amino acids, and also we can select three amino acids to choose from. We can we can choose from these three only. So then it's raised to the three, meaning that we have twenty seven options to build this uh, protein so let's 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 write some some of the options so let's say we have uh, this And then we have for for the histidine. We also have the the only red red red, and then we also have and so on. Uh, so uh, so you can tell the 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 ways that we have uh, we have 27 ways of of building. Uh, a protein composed of three amino acids that those three amino acids that were selected from from this pool okay so now let me show you how big it is the calculation of 20 raised to the 300 this number is huge 2 times 10 raised to the 390 a huge number huge number I, I don't even know how to read this huge number. You can see it. Now let's do some calculations taking into consideration time. Now um, the 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 age of of the universe is 13.7 billion years. So we convert that into seconds. So we take that to to the days and then to hours. 
and then to minutes and then to seconds. So these fractions means that in one second we need to have 10 to the 372 trials. So we need to have 10 to the 372 options check in order per second in order to 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 found a, a, a protein of 300 amino acids that were choose from the the pool of 20 amino acids found in nature this number is huge i don't i don't see any process that in nature that can can test can can test 10 to the 372 options in one second since the origin of the universe to conclude i haven't seen any process in nature that can try 2 times 10 raised to the 372 arrangements of proteins per second. Therefore, there is a big constraint that a simple protein could have been formed by chance, but, but rather designed by an intelligent designer. Thank you.